Hey gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Kind of a slow day today. I've been cleaning up and came across some old hydraulic stuff that I've been keeping around for God knows what reason. And, and yes, Brad from Tactical Chi Change. I'll admit, I too have a problem with the wilt. Luckily, they got pills for that nowadays. Out of the task at hand, getting rid of some old garbage. So, I picked up this old hydraulic motor and, uh, and bearing assembly, figuring uh, the motor would be good for something. But uh, it's not looking good. First clue is the silicon carney. They never put that stuff in the factory, especially if there is a O-ring in there already. This is just the bearing side and you can see here, the coupling is all chewed up. So somebody had to go with this already. Not a good sign. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna try and move it. And it's seized up right solid. I only got the one hand, but believe me, it's seized up solid. And then if we try and get this coupling out, it's in there too, like sort of sideways or something funny going on there. So uh, not a lot of hope that this thing is not grenaded. So definitely a waste of space to have this sitting in the garage for four years before I got a chance to look at it. And so it goes. Let's have a peek, see if it's uh, reparable or not. So this looks like a Sour Danfoss piston motor and it fucking reeks like busted gear lube. You're gonna, oh no, it's a gear, uh, gear rotor. Okay, so this is interesting how this works. This block is a manifold block here. And this is the timing shaft. So this is, this is keyed to this. And this is what the hydraulic fluid goes through. And this times it to see which guy gets pressurized fluid and which guy gets a tank pressure and then this uh, chooches around like that it's very high torque so we're gonna see if we can get this uh, moving so she's seized right solid now I'm not gonna fix this but if you had to fix it we drive that out because more than likely there's gonna be some corrosion on there and uh, clean it up and put it back in and hope for the best you know if you're looking to save yourself a thousand bucks uh, and you got nothing but time then for sure you'd take this apart clean it all up. Oh, what the hell? I'm not gonna fix it, but let's take it apart. And the old girl ain't too happy You see the lines of rust there. So that's the problem. And it's not that it's really seized in there so much as the surface is pitted and rusted and the rust is uh, steel, but it expands You just don't have the clearance now to actually get this to rotate around. Oh, yeah, she's pretty Pretty ugly. Uh, this is something you bring into a pro. You throw this out right away and, and charge you 25% markup on the on the new pump. But you know, I've got some of these hardened rollers out. Unfortunately, it's real bad. So there's no point in even. Uh, yeah, it is terrible. So unfortunately, this is completely hooped. Uh, I wasn't going to fix it initially, and uh, I ain't going to fix it now for sure. If you've got a high torque rotor motor. And uh, you see this, it's it's toast, buddy. Sorry. You might be able to polish it up and get, uh, you know, an hour. You might get a couple days. You might get a month. But uh, it's it's on the way out for sure. Uh, can't win them all. Hey, did you guys hear that? I think I heard the doorbell. Gotta go. Was indeed the doorbell. Good old digi key shipment. I know what this is. And what that means is these hydraulics are going on vacation. Permanently. Well, this wasn't a complete loss. Got a interesting part here to put up on the wall of shame along with my IGBT bridge that I blew up from blowing up backwards from from putting it together backwards my beaker of shame Wally Beaver needs some company so this is gonna remind me to throw shit out every once in a while thanks a lot for watching keep your stick on the ice